the Cracked Tusk Predator, was featured in the comic books of Predator Life and Death. The story starts off with the crew aboard the Hasdrubal ship. They reach the planet LV-797, which was scheduled for colonization and terraformation. It was one of many planets already claimed by William Yutani. There was suspicion that a rival company had sent in unlicensed prospectors to strip the planet of any assets, and so a team was sent in to investigate and prosecute anyone involved in illegal activities. When the Marines reach the planet also known as Tartarus, they have no idea that a predator hunting party is already stationed here. One group of Marines uncover a wrecked lander which was hit by some type of energy weapon, and amongst the rubble a survivor is found. Lawrence Good. He was part of a team that came to strip the planet of anything they could find. He seems to have been struck by fear when he tells them that this place belongs to someone else. He is then taken back to base and interrogated. The same group of marines later come across an engineer spacecraft. As they get closer to investigate, they come under attack by predators who are guarding the ship. The marines start to shoot in all directions. Some predator blood appears on the local vegetation. It seems they hit something. But before they can organize a new plan, Crack Tusk appears and kills a marine named Garland. This hunter goes invisible and is then aided by the Hive Wars predator that carries a large scythe weapon. Back at base, some new survivors show up to join the marines and they explain, these hunters were here before any humans landed on the planet. Their crew were led by Captain Humble and Melville. They came across the engineer spacecraft and their team was also slaughtered. Then, a second team of marines is sent in to check on the first team that went missing, but they get ambushed by the Hive Wars Predator. He kills a few humans, but is then chased down by Rucker and killed off. As the other predators show up, so do the rest of the marines. A battle breaks out with the marines having the advantage in numbers. Another predator gets killed, so they flee into the jungle and escape with any wounded hunters. The marines are then split into two groups. One approaches on foot, and the other through a dropship. But as the ship gets closer to the site, Crack Tusk jumps onto the dropship and destroys the stabilizers, forcing them to land. Meanwhile, the group on foot gets ambushed by another group of predators. Crack Tusk then pulls a marine out of the cockpit, but is injured by gunfire. He alone was defending the entrance to the ship. He recovers and then makes his way inside the ship and awaits to ambush the marines as they enter. He realizes the marines were using a ground team with motion trackers to distract them outside, so he contacts the other hunters to join him at the juggernaut ship. The humans take control of the ship and it takes off, but not before, Crack Tusk appears and attacks them, ripping the head and spinal cord off one human, then using it as a weapon. He puts his attention on another human, he tries to attack with its wrist blades, but he misses and ends up stabbing a sarcophagus and gets stuck. Unable to fight back, he is then killed off with a pulse rifle. Although his story ends here, the marines controlling the ship now have a new threat to deal with. The gunfire upon the sarcophagus has awakened a dormant engineer, which leads to another story. The Crack Tusk Predator was a toy figure by the Kenner Company, and a new updated version was later made by NECA. Even though he was known as an elder predator, he chose to stay on the battlefield to lead a hunting party into combat. He was also a survival specialist that endured some harsh environments, like the lava deserts on Yatra Prime and the cold climate on Fiorina and Rim. Before his death, he also had a reputation of leading his hunting party on missions, coming back victorious and keeping every member alive. One member of his hunting party was the Renegade Predator, who was affiliated with the Jungle Hunter clan. Renegade would sometimes join them on hunts, hoping he would claim his first Xenomorph trophy with them. So that covers the story of the Crack Tusk Predator. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content around the Predator universe, then subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on, and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.